we have for the sign in today. So I went ahead and entered in the radial uh, entry of everyone tr tracking their own name and it shows up uh, that their email is collected and that they click their own name so they're signing in for themselves, right? So when I go into responses, here's what happens though. It won't correlate or, or compile all the data for each day. It compiles the data for the entire form for all of the entries that have ever been made on this form. So it's not going to show up with a pie chart or a bar graph of who all has signed in. And I think that was what, um, what y'all were looking for with adding the uh, radial to the form. So area of sign in, like this is how many entries we've had since we started making entries, 31 responses, including duplicates of mine from testing responses. Because it, even if you delete it out of the form, it's going to keep tallying those responses. So what happens is it goes to the spreadsheet. And this is for today. Now notice these are the tests from yesterday. Donnie Hudson signed in, um, I think that's right before midnight in military time uh, at home, so that doesn't count for today's sign in. But you see that the timestamp says, you know, 8-2. Uh, and I had it set where it would be in... Okay. All right, now this is for all of the entries that have ever been made by chronological order. So the newest would be at the bottom. To fix that, you just do Z to A, and the newest will be at the top, so to make that easier. So the last person to sign in was Rainisha at 804. So you can take this and uh, alphabetize it. Actually, that might be easier since I don't have that data, though, right now. So it would have to be if everyone entered their names here. So what I do have, though, is the email addresses. So if I take the email addresses for that date, too, just this, okay? And I copy and go to Daily Checklist. Okay, I've already entered uh, these here, but I'll just do it again. I'll clear the column and then paste. Okay, so when you paste into B, every time you change this daily checklist, anything you change anything in the form, it's going to take you to the undefined tab. It's tedious, but just work with it for right now. Um, so this column here, you're going to alphabetize. And over here, oh dang, no, no, I did that wrong. Okay, so you're going to take this into an alphabetizer because if you try to do it, If you try to do it in the form, it's going to alphabetize the entire form, and I don't know how to make it not do that at this point. Although I'll, it may be easier without the emails once I get the uh, all the names in for the dial-in that y'all did. So I'll alphabetize that. Done. Copy. Go to yeah, sign in. Go here. Done. And well, this is two entries, so. I can ignore that one. Again, it's going to reset, so you have to wait for all the data to formulate and then go back to the daily checklist. Okay, so now what I did, ignore that these are highlighted, what I did was I checked the emails which are alphabetized by first name with the names that are alphabetized by first name. So Andrea Wilson didn't sign in today uh, because her email's not in this box. Andrew Allen did, so I don't highlight him. Anna Moore did, so she's not highlighted. Or if you would just want to go by, I guess it would, would be easier than highlighting who didn't sign in, it would be easier to highlight who did sign in. So Andrew Allen you would highlight, Anna Moore you would highlight, Catherine Chip you would highlight, and you can just go down this list automatically knowing who has signed in and who hasn't. All right, so he shouldn't be highlighted because he did sign in. Okay, so just reverse the highlighting from this video. Baker didn't sign in. Uh, Catherine Wilson did, Smith didn't, because his email's not here. So just highlight whoever did hi, uh, sign in, and then you have your list. Now for this purposes, all the people who didn't sign in are highlighted, but based on what we just did there, what I would recommend is highlighting people who did sign in, so the names that are not highlighted are the people that you need to check. So right now, that's how our system would work. I think that with the dial... Uh, answers, the multiple choice answers for them picking, that will make it even easier because instead what I can do in this daily checklist column is I can change this into uh, 
last name first, then first name, and then instead of copying and pasting their email, you can copy and paste this, and then you won't have to go to the alphabetize um, website. You can just alphabetize the entire sheet because it will all have the same data and that will be easier. But I can't show you that because I just added the multiple choice option today. So it was only at 8.03. So the only people who've had that option on the QR code so far have been four people. So I can't really show you that um, right now. But let me know what you think if this can help make that uh, easier for payroll. And then once you do highlight, just as a, a note, once you do highlight, you can print it and that can be your record for the day saying, you know, uh, these are the names that were highlighted that signed in. These names that are not highlighted, no one uh, signed in. But then I checked to make sure they're in the building. So I highlighted them to for my record saying, yes, they were in the building. I don't need a sub. So that might be the easiest way to do that.